Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this will be the last of a video of should I go or not to Windows 11 and this video is actually telling you don't go to Windows 11. So first of all if you're asking yourself maybe I should go to Windows 11 you already are answering that question no you should not because there's an hesitation there you're not sure should I go or not that means you don't go. Um, instability is key. Windows 11 has a certain number of problems. One of them, if you only use one instance of File Explorer, it's okay. But if you start using multiple File Explorer windows with different folders in them, at some point you will notice that the File Explorer freezes and actually you have to end the process losing all the windows that were open, of course. So that's one thing to give you an idea of problems that might arise. There are numerous people complaining of all sorts of different problems from no sound, no Wi-Fi, freezes, um, black screen of death because it's not blue, it's black. Uh, all sorts of little things here and there. Um, it's interesting people don't understand that what is in the insider ring is just the start of something. It's test software. That is not finished and it has a lot of bugs. That's why they're testing it in the insider rings. It's why insiders exist because they are the ones, they are the guinea pigs getting all the problems so that when it's officially out, it will actually be okay. So for the most part, anyone that comes to this channel and says, oh, I want to have this now, uh, you better hang on to, you know, uh, your trousers because it uh, is definitely, depending on your machine, um, a wild ride. It could be of any kind. I have had the File Explorer problem. I've not had too many other problems except a couple of crashes of the Settings app uh, that happened. In general, it's stable, but the more you use your PC and the more you do things with your PC, the more you will actually encounter some of those problems, um, including some of the unfinished parts of the settings or whatever app you're using. So that's why as a user, if you are somebody using the computer all the time and you know you need some stability, you need something that works, really don't go to Windows 11. Um, you will have problems if you use your computer a lot and do a lot of different things. It is something that is normal, once again, uh, because it is simply unfinished software. So this is diffi difficult to understand that people with not much knowledge decide, hey, I'm going to go to this now, uh, without understanding all the consequences of going to test something that still needs to be tweaked and fixed of all of its bugs. So um, this is the warning because I have too many people coming back here saying, you know, I'm gone there and I got problems. Is this normal? Yes, it is. And the problems you might have are not the problems the other one might have. We might have different problems with different PCs. And for people saying, well, you know, that's Windows. No, it's test software. Windows is super stable. Anybody in Windows 10 that says that their computer is crashing all the time, better check your computer's hardware or drivers or software you've installed. Windows 10 is rock solid. I have multiple machines with Windows 10. None of them are crashing. None of them are having issues. And this is the majority of people. So Windows 11 is a different thing. It's test. It's not finished. It still needs to be tweaked. There still needs to be new stuff to add to it. And you will be prone to getting updates, huge updates, almost every week. If you, know, if you don't want to live through that, do not go to the Insider program. Uh, this is as simple as that. Let people that have more knowledge or that can dedicate a computer or you know, use a virtual machine to test it out without affecting the rest of your system. It's very important to understand that. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos on the channel.